The rapture is the catching up of all the true believers in Christ. This event is quite simply one of the most earth-changing prophetic events that is scheduled on God's prophetic calendar. The Saviour that we speak of the Lord Jesus Christ is going to come back at the end of time, altogether different to how He left. When the Saviour comes back this time, He will come as a King, He will come as a Lord, as the glorified ruler. He is coming back as a lion. I want you to remember that the second coming is not the rapture, and the rapture is not the second coming. I want you to remember that at the rapture the believers meet the Lord in the air, and at the second coming believers return with the Lord to the earth. There are those who do not believe that Christ is coming back again, but they still call themselves believers. This is something I struggle to understand because the Bible time and time again clearly tells us that Christ will come again. Acts 1 verse 11 which also said, Yea, men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? The same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. The angels told us that he is coming back and Jesus himself promised he is coming back again. John 14 verse 1 to 3 let not your heart be troubled. Yea, believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. I will come again. I will come come again, I will come again, and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Jesus is not a liar, he does not make false statements, not a single word of Christ has ever failed or fails to come to fruition. If one word his fails, then he is not the Saviour you are looking for, he will come again. Now, I want to ask you one question and one question only. What if the rapture happens tomorrow? What if the rapture happens tomorrow? Would you be left behind or would you be caught up with the saints? The wonderful thing about the rapture is that the one who comes to collect the saints is the shepherd himself, the shepherd who knows the states of the hearts of each and every person this shows us the magnitude of the event of the rapture. A prophet isn't sent to collect the saints. Moses was the one who was sent to deliver the children of Israel out of Egyptian captivity. Joshua was the one who led the children of Israel into the promised land. Time and time again we see the Lord using prophets to complete his will. But the rapture of the saints is beyond the pay grade of a prophet. The Bible says the Lord himself, not even an angel, but the Lord himself. Time and time again in the word of God, we see angels sent on behalf of the Lord, completing tasks on the behalf of the Lord. But the rapture of the saints is something that is beyond them. The Bible record reads, 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 16 to 17, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. The Lord Jesus knows who are his and those who are not his. And he is the one who will come collect the saints. So I ask you again, what if the rapture happens tomorrow? Would you be left behind or would you be caught up with the saints? Think of the days of Noah, the days of the flood. Now think how many people were saved in the days of Noah when the flood came. Come on now, how many? Eight. Only eight were saved. Now think of the thousands of people 
who were on the earth at the time. Out of all the thousands of people on the earth at the time, only eight, only eight were saved. Not even 0.01% of the world's population got into that ark. So now I ask you, my brother, my sister, how many do you think will be saved when the rapture happens? Come on, how many? Not everyone who attends church will be caught up in the sky when the Lord Jesus returns. Look at the state of some of these churches. There are churches who don't even teach from the Bible anymore. There are churches that don't even speak in the name of Jesus. There are churches who don't recognize Jesus as the door to the Father. And hundreds of thousands of people attend these churches week in and week out, thinking they worship the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We are told clearly there is only one way to the Father. John 14 verse 6, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And on the day of rapture, not as many people will go up as people think. There may be a few here and a few there. There might be some churches where 50% of the congregation will be taken, another where 80% of the congregation taken, other where only 5 or 10% will be taken. So I ask you again, what if the rapture happens tomorrow? Will the Lord call for you when he comes, as spoken in First Thessalonians 4 verse 16? It is quite unfortunate that only a few churches remind their members of the rapture. Now I ask you, when the Lord descends with a shout, are you sure you will be caught up in the sky? Are you absolutely certain that when this happens, you will be caught up in the sky? Because the truth is we don't know when it will happen. It could happen this year or even 40 years from now. But the question is, are you ready? The rapture has no specific date. It is going to be the most sudden event that has ever been experienced on earth. It will happen in a split second. The trumpet of the archangel will announce the rapture. The dead in Christ will hear it and resurrect from the dead with a glorified body with which they will be granted a supernatural transition to meet the Lord in the skies. The Bible, Paul also says that we will be changed in the twinkling of an eye. In a moment you will have a glorious shining body. What pain or illness are you struggling with right now? What medicine are you taking? Have you seen your body decay of the year and have you seen yourself not move around the same way you used to? The Bible tells us literally in the twinkling of an eye your body will be transformed into a glorified body. I really look forward to this day, don't you? A church congregation full of true born again children of God will be praying and then suddenly Jesus takes them on the day of rapture to be with him in the clouds and to look at one another with their shiny new bodies. Doesn't that excite you to have a brand new body? you will be totally transformed. Ladies and gentlemen, the day of rapture is a tremendous day. On that day, we will see that church attendance does not mean you are a sheep of Christ. Church attendance does not mean salvation. Being born in a church and going to church your whole life does not make you a Christian any more than being born in a garage makes you a car. Are you still on the wrong side of Christ? Are you still a goat in the eyes of the Lord? You see, we are all born on the wrong side of Christ, but you don't have to stay there. Unfortunately, there are so many people who have still not come to Christ in their heart. They have never called out to God to have mercy on them. Are you the person I am speaking about today? You have never called out to Christ to ask Him to have mercy on you and mercy upon you for your sins. You live your whole life for the here and the now and you have not seen eternity for the reality that it is. You have never sat down to think about your eternal destiny. You have never thought about the beauty of heaven or the heat of hell. You have never called out to God for Him to deal with you about your lukewarmness and double-mindedness. And you have asked yourself, what if the rapture happens tomorrow? Will I be left behind or will I be caught up with the saints? Keep watch for the rapture because we don't know the day or the hour it will happen. It is therefore our responsibility to watch by living a ready life of holiness and righteousness. 
We must evaluate our lives on a daily basis to know if we are still on the Lord's side. Per adventure, the trumpet sounds now. Are you sure you will be caught up? If your answer is no, then you must deal with every form of obstacle. Hold on to Jesus. Hold on to Him. Salvation is not about you. You can add to the finish work of what Christ did on the cross. It's all about Him. Depend totally on His work on the cross. Believe in Him. Believe in His name.